Hi everyone, welcome to the Python basic session. In this session, we will learn about the basics of for loop. We'll learn about the syntax of for loop. We'll I'll show you how to debug for loop and also we'll use a small uh, using uh, like for loop will create a small applications. So in the previous session, we have learned about the while loop and where looping is a process in which uh, we execute the lines of code multiple times. And in this session, we will learn about another kind of loop, which is for loop. And for loop uh, can be used uh, uh, can be used whether it's a list where we can iterate over the item of a list, or even it can be used in a string for like example, if we say for i in any words analytics print i. So if we execute this, then a and a for every item like a is one item, small n is another item, small a is another item. It will iterate over each and every element. And similarly, it will uh, do for a uh, list. So, but before this, I'll show you how to how to debug. Checkpoint here, we'll give a checkpoint here and we'll give reset here. Okay, we'll give a checkpoint and then we'll give control F5 in order to go to the debug mode. Okay, and then we'll give control F10, control F10. Okay, now you can see the value of i here. The very first time when it is printing, it's printing the value of a followed by pf10 again. Control f10. N a l y t i c s. And then finally, it will come out of the loop. So this is how we can debug the for loop, a simple for loop, even a complicated for loop also. A nested for loop you can uh, debug. Now, suppose I have a list, list of items or a list of country we will say which is I'll say okay and now what we will do for for country underscore list country we'll say print country when we execute this line by line so it will because we have not executed the list country it was a uh, line not created so we can see that the first item which is executed is India, Russia, Japan, America, and Germany. Okay, so this is how we can just simply iterate the value of a list. Now, this is like what we have executed just now is a list. This is a, a like a string, and now this is a list which contains the again the string. But what about if I want to execute in case of a number? So in that case, I can like suppose if I say for i in the range one, two, three, four, five. Then I'll say print i, okay, and not range. Now for i in this list, you can see one, two, three, but but if my list is very huge, in that case I cannot write one, two, three. Suppose if my list has a value up till one thousand, hundred, or one lakh, I cannot simply create this value here, right? I cannot create this list here. So in that case, I can what I can use, I can say for i in range. Now, what is my uh, till what value I want to suppose I want to print a value till 10. Okay, then I'll say for i and then we'll execute this two line. This will be executed, it starts from in Python the indexing starts from 0 and will go till 9. And we have here mentioned the value till 100. If we give the value as 20, so then what will happen in that case it will be printed till 19. Now, I want to uh, give the initial value as well as the ending starting and end, ending value. So here it will start from 10 and it will go till 90. Okay. Now I don't want to print all the value. I want to print uh, from 10 the gap of three items. So 10, 13, 16, 19 like that. So, so in this case I have to give the starting number, ending number followed by the number like how much should be the gap or the difference. That's what I am doing here. So as per what I have shown here debugging and syntax is done. Now what we will do, like currently IPL is going on, right? So we have uh, David Warner, like the Australian player, he's playing super cricket. So suppose in his six of his inning, innings, he has scored the runs like, uh, he scored 55, 50, 99, 90, 100, 10 and 50, 55, okay? Now, these are the runs which Warner has scored. So my application, what it will do, it will calculate the total sums using the for loop and then again it will also calculate the uh, calculate the average and then print it so i'll say this is equals to this is done now what i will do i'll start a loop okay for run in warner runs 
what I will do, I will give the total runs which he has scored initially is zero. Okay, total underscore runs plus equals to run. Okay, and then what I will do, I will print total runs, total runs, and also I need to uh, give the average score per innings. Average score. So if I execute this, I should definitely get the execute this for run in Warner run. The very first time it will take a 50 and then total is 0 plus 50. Then the next time it will take 99. So 99 plus 50 and it will go on till the end of the list is reached. So let's execute this uh, type. No, this is not. This is Warner runs. Okay. Now if we execute this, so the uh, total scored in 6 innings is 404 and if you give 404 by 6 is 67.33. Now what I want, I don't want it in a different uh, line. I want this to be printed in the same line. So what I will do and this will be the formatting how we do the print. total score or total runs is an average score. This is a because we are giving this uh, uh, this value here open bracket and the close bracket and so we are giving f which is for formatting how our output will go now total runs is what is my total runs as per this total runs is total total runs and is what is my average score average score is total runs by so what we will do we'll simply give here okay so now if i execute this so we can see here total run is 400 and average score is this so this is how we have applied for loops in a very simple manner and we can understand it. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and I'll be coming up with a nested for loop in my next session. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.